Hey everyone, welcome to the new tutorial. Recently I've done this Godzilla scene and a lot of you were asking about the buildings and how I did the random windows and stuff like that. And it's a fairly simple trick, so I thought today we can do some quick low poly buildings and have a little bit of fun with it. Um, if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see content like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button and the bell button if you want to get notified when I release something new. If you like this video and you find it helpful, please hit that like button, it really helps my channel. And I tend to go a little bit faster on these types of tutorials, so if you're interested to see more in-depth explanation, um, go maybe check out my other commentary videos, you can find the link in the description. And if you really want to get most out of your time, you can go ahead and check out my website polygonrunway.com. I have courses there that are specifically designed for absolute beginners in Blender and the world of 3D and will get you from zero to hero in the shortest amount of time possible. So if you're interested, please go check it out. And now let's jump into empty Blender file. So when creating something repetitive, I always think about how I can utilize the modifiers you know and the procedural workflows um, to save as much time as possible when i create something and with this building it's the same we'll use just a simple array modifier in the beginning to create our composition with the buildings and then we'll modify them one by one and randomize them a little bit so let's create a few buildings and we'll start by adding a plane so i'll press shift a and add a plane and I think this size will work just fine. So tap into edit mode, press E to extrude and E to extrude once again, we'll add some like variation here. So I will press three for face select, alt click here to select this loop, press alt E and extrude along normals. And we can press S for even scaling. So this will be kind of a base of a building. And now we can select this face at the top hold shift s and snap cursor to select it now tab out and now let's press shift a and add a plane again and we can tab in and we can just extrude one story like this and again something like this here to give this a little bit of visual variation don't forget that even thickness with the s and just extrude with alt e and now we can add loop cuts. So control R, create loop cuts. Um, how many you want, maybe something like this will be fine. It's eight cuts and we'll do the same here. Um, if you want, you can just confirm and then modify these to eight. Like this and create one at the bottom. And now we have some windows so we can just alt click this loop here and press i to inset and i again for individual and just like this we'll create some windows and now press alt e and extrude along normals inside to create those windows now don't click anywhere uh, because this is a great opportunity to assign empty material for later use so let's go to the materials and first create a new one and we'll call this building um, and that's not the one we are interested in so let's hit the plus icon and let's create a new one and let's call this window and this is the important one so let's click assign and you can check if this works if you go to the material preview and change the color this should work and now we have window material assigned to those windows so we don't need to select them manually later now tab out and the last thing i want to do is to go in the modifiers tab at array modifier and we'll set factor x to zero and z to one and now we have a little low poly modular building we can just set the number of stories with the count and to make things a little bit more interesting we can add a new plane bring it up like this and snap it here so let's switch to the vertex snap press g z and snap it to the top of the building and now tab in, we'll extrude this and create a roof like that. And you can add a little bit of details on roof, like, you know, um, some air conditioning devices or something like that, whatever you want. And here at the bottom, we can just slice this a little bit, 
create an inset here and create like an entrance or something. Now to show that this works with other shapes, we can just move this to the side and let's reset the cursor to world origin. I'll press shift S to do that. And now let's press shift A and let's add a circle and let's modify this to something like 16 segments. We want this to be fairly low poly and now let's scale this. So tab in S and Y, scale this on Y axis a little bit and maybe make it a little bit larger. Press F to fill, E to extrude and we'll do the same thing here. So I will extrude this, snap the cursor there and here to match um, the shape, we can just duplicate this, Shift D, press Z, and again, just like before, we can snap it here, and then just scale this down. Okay, something like this. And now we can create windows like this, and do the same thing here. So add a building material, create a new slot, add a window material, tab in and assign. And now we can just borrow the modifier. So shift click here. And in newest Blender 2.92, we have option to copy to select it. We don't need to link the modifier. So just click copy to select it and we transfer the modifier just like that. And now to create the roof, we can again shift duplicate the bottom one, press Z to move it up, G and Z and snap it here using control. And now let's just modify this mesh. So I will select the top face, press control plus on an unpad, X and delete faces. Then alt click this loop, press F to close it up, G and Z to move it down, I for inset and extrude. So we have two buildings now, how we can modify them and distribute them. So every other window um, has some light in it. And this will be very simple. So let me just move this away and let's drag selection here and parent these two um, to the base of the building. So we can press Alt G to reset its location. And as you know, we are now able to modify the story count and if you do, you can just select the roof and press GZ and bring it down with control to snap um, to the vertices. So let's now switch to the material preview. And additionally, we want to see scene lights and scene world. And let's go into the materials tab and select the window material and let's switch this to a mission. So this is what we have here, but you know, this is too dense. This wouldn't look good um, on a real building. So what we can do now is to tab in and deactivate some of these windows, you know, change the material there. So basically you just select some of these windows and assign building material there and here at the corner as well. And now to create a city layout, you just select the base of the building, press shift and right bracket, and now press Alt D X or shift Z to move this somewhere else. And we'll repeat this a few times. Now let's modify the height of this building. So this one here can be a little bit lower. So yeah, something like four stories will be enough. And now we can just grab this and snap it to the roof. We can leave this as is, and this one can be maybe a little bit higher. And we can switch to the solid view so we better see what we are doing. And 
Yeah, this one can be higher too, a little bit. Okay, something like this. Don't scatter them too randomly. Um, they don't need to be on a grid, but you should be able to imagine like streets going um, around them and stuff like that. So it has a little bit of that um, geometrical city feel. And now, as long as you always keep at least one building um, with the original modifier, you can always create infinite um, duplicates of of these buildings you know and then modify them so right now we can switch back to the material preview and this looks um too much uniform um right now so we can start with the first one so let's select this one here first i need to go to object relations and make single user object and data because we wouldn't be able to apply the area modifier and now we can select the area modifier and press ctrl a to apply it and now we have this as a mesh. These are linked meshes that can be selected separately using L when you hover over them. So you can select few stories just like this. And now you guessed it right. You can just press R, Z, 90 degrees to rotate them 90 degrees. And we can now select the other ones and press R, Z and 180 degrees and few other ones and don't worry if you select the same ones again r z 270 degrees something like this and you have a nice variation of the window lights so this is a neat trick how you can just by adding a little bit of a low poly mesh you can quickly use every modifier to create different building heights and then you can just create a single user apply the modifier and change things around a little bit so each building feels at least a little bit unique and you don't have too much repetition in your scene and now i will go ahead and change this for the other buildings as well and then you know create a little bit of a scene out of it fast forward and i will see you on the other side
So that was the quick low poly modular CV. You can see I've just added some lights, you know, and a little bit of roads and stuff like that. There is a lot here that I could be working on um, to add new details, you know, trees, uh, little buildings, um, some stuff on the roof here and there. So yeah, you can take this and go wild with your imagination, maybe recreate your city or something. I hope this will help you with that. Um, and again, if you're new to the channel and you like to see content like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button and if you really liked this video and it helped you and you think it will help others, please hit that like button. And thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.